Jimmy, we're here with EV's ETX family of powered loudspeakers. Now, we've got a three-way here, we've got 18-inch subs, but there are also a 10 and horn, a 12 and a horn, and a 15 and a horn, plus 15-inch subs in the range. Yep, it's pretty comprehensive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a big lineup. Um, now, it's kind of all about the DSP on the back, though. There's some pretty, uh, pretty nifty thinking going into how you uh, set up and control. Yeah, look, the, the the whole range is self-powered. So that means A, no amplifiers, but B, uh, the internal DSP has been designed to be very user-friendly. So there are a bunch of interesting features, like for instance, um, you've got uh, a boundary compensation on, on the, the three-way 15 and mid and horn, uh, such that you can tell it whether it's uh, in free space or suspended or uh, in, as part of an array with mm. other cabinets next to it. Um, you've got uh, appropriate roll-offs for when you're using it with subs that aren't EV, and you've got specific roll-offs that you engage when you're using something like the ETX 18-inch sub, mm. uh, or the 15 indeed. Um, the subs themselves, uh, there are a couple of cool things there. Uh, again, you know, generic roll-offs and specific roll-offs based on what cabinet you've got sitting on top. Mm. So basically, you tell the whole thing what friends it's hanging out with, and they'll all get along and play really nicely together. Um, the subs have a cardioid mode too, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, you can do that with uh, as few as two cabinets, or you can do it with three, and you can do that in a horizontal or uh, sorry, a horizontal or a vertical configuration. Mm -hmm. uh, and the the short of it is that you you invert the sub that's either uh, in the middle or yeah. the lower of the two if you're only using mm. two. And that gives you some pattern control mm. on your low frequency. Yeah. Now, speaking of control, you've got a pole mount in the bottom of the sub and you can actually put another top box on with a pole, uh, which uh, changes the relationship of, of physically in space. But, yeah. And this can actually compensate for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm told that uh, it knows that there's a mechanical difference uh, between where the two things are, and mm. uh, it, it makes accommodations uh, to, to bring the yeah. systems back into phase with each other. Okay. Now, in terms of sound, uh, listening to these, we find they're actually very bright uh, in the top, which is not something we were expecting uh, from EV. Yeah, it's not. It's not the EV of yesteryear. No. You know, sort of. It's it's not the the SX two hundred style sound, mm. and obviously, it's a different grade of product. Mm. And I, I think that in itself is an interesting point because. Mm. Uh, where where does this fit in? Is it is this high level sort of MI or is this entry level pro? Because I think it yeah it straddles both of yeah, those. It's definitely on that border. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd be very happy to mix live band on these. Uh, yeah. and get quite a high quality result. Uh, the three way in particular, uh, it's sixty by forty. Actually, throws a long way and it's got more power than you can poke a stick at. Yeah, and the range in general uh, develops from 134 to 136 dB, depending on, on the model and yeah, size. Yeah, I think, think the fact mm. that they've managed to get sort of a, a 2 dB variation mm. Mm. between every box and every other box, like mm. as a maximum, mm. that's pretty cool. Uh, and they all work together quite nicely. Uh, I like that there's built-in delay. So, for instance, you're using you know, this configuration, obviously. I'm sitting on one of these, by the way. Yeah. The grills are that <laughs> solid that yeah, you, you can sit on them. Yeah, uh, and surprisingly light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they are, and look, I was expecting this uh, especially mm. um, to be completely unmanageable, but yeah. you know, it's got good handles, the mm. handles are in appropriate positions, EV actually make all their own hardware mm. for the handles and the top hats and things like that, and it's aluminium, not plastic, so... Uh, it's 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 a workhorse and it's definitely built to last. Yeah, I think workhorse is a good name for it. It's it's solid, it's well built, it's reliable, and it does exactly what you want. Yeah, minimum of fuss, maximum of result. Yeah, 